Hey everybody, yours truly, Pat Dooley here. Welcome to another Sporkle Saturday. Uh, if this is your first time joining me, I am a wrestling announcer, interviewer, commentator. <clears throat> Usually my voice sounds better than this, but I had some dental work done today and that always stirs up weird crap. Uh, so I'm a little, little, uh, little more nasally, a little more grumbly today than I usually am. I promise. Usually I sound a lot better. You can go back and watch past episodes uh, if you need proof. Or you can come and see me at any of the shows that I work. Um, I've got an awesome new graphic from Kayfabe Graphics. Uh, my friend uh, John Shelton, uh, who, who I've worked on shows with here, uh, has an awesome business where he uh, does graphics. Uh, so you'll see that at the end. It's going to replace the usual fill the screen with, uh, with my social info because it's all going to be in one nice little graphic at the end. So I'm excited about that. Thank you, Johnny. So each and every week I go to sporkle.com, which is an online quiz site, and I find a popular wrestling-related quiz and I take it. Uh, I have been on a streak this year of not doing so hot. Uh, I only have won 100% this year so far, uh, but I've got a pretty good feeling about this week. This week we're looking at WWE multiple WrestleMania main events. Click the wrestlers or superstars who competed in the last match of more than one WrestleMania. Uh, there are 18 answers and I have five minutes to find them all. Um, yeah, I I don't have a lot of doubt that I'm going to get 100% on this. Uh, but, you know, there's only one way to find out, right? So I'm going to go ahead and play the quiz. Here we go. Uh, DiBiase, no. Foley, no. Orndorff, no. Yokozuna, yes. 9 and 10. Uh, Bundy, no. Brian is a maybe. Michaels, yes. McIntyre's another maybe. Austin, for sure. Cody might be this year, but we don't know that for sure. Owens, yes. Uh, maybe Bianca. Undertaker, for sure. Slaughter, no. Orton, maybe. Warrior, no. Rollins, probably. Savage, for sure. AJ, I don't think. Ronda, I don't think. Andre, no. Brock, yes. Miz, no. Hogan, for sure. Uh, Batista, yes. Roman, yes, of course. Jericho, I don't think so. Sid, yes. Becky, maybe. Angle, maybe. Rock, yes. Ben Juan, no. Triple H, yes. Uh, okay, so here's the one. Here's the question about Brett. Um, last match. Are they counting his match with Yokozuna as the last match on that show? Even though Hogan came out and had... Because it was the ske last scheduled match on the show. And I'll come back to it. Uh, Cena, yes. Sammy, no. Piper, no. Uso, no. Edge? I think yes, but I'll come back to it. Sasha, Charlotte, Jimmy, no. Okay, so there are four decoy marker. I don't know how that works. Do I click and drag? Okay, so it might be Brian, it might be McIntyre, it might be Orton, it might be Rollins. I'm actually feeling better about Rollins the more I think about it. No! Okay, well, shoot, someone for my 100%. Uh, Orton, almost certainly, right? Yeah, okay, so... <sighs> Drew is a maybe. I'm going to go ahead and say Brian, because yeah. Uh, so there's one more. And I feel like it's Edge. But I don't feel super strong about it. Okay, it is Edge. And they did count Brett. Okay. Even though Brett technically wasn't in the last match at WrestleMania 9. Oh, but he was for 10 and 12. I was... I outsmarted myself on that one. Ah, oh, that's annoying. 
I was so caught up on nine, I didn't think he, yeah, he main evented 10 against Yokozuna and 12 against Shawn Michaels. Of course it was Brett. Ah, shoot. Well, 17 out of 18, again, not terrible, but the streak of not getting 100% continues. Bummer. So, uh, those of you that have been watching for a while have probably noticed in the description of these episodes I've started including my upcoming shows, uh, as a, you know, just where you can find me. Uh, I, in, in the month of March, because this is coming out on the 2nd, so the month is just starting, yesterday I will have done the first March Madness show of the year for the Southern Wrestling Federation. I am in uh, Morrison, Tennessee tonight for Tennessee All Pro Wrestling. Uh, I've got SWF and TAP again the, the following two weekends. Uh, and then the weekend following that, the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 22nd, I'm, I've got SWF 23rd. TriStar Wrestling is back uh, with their six-man, uh, six-pack melee to crown a new champion uh, after Chris Michaels had to forfeit the belt. Uh, and then the weekend after that, I'll be making my debut for Union Wrestling Latin American. It's a lucha promotion in Nashville, which I'm super excited about. I love Lucha Libre. Uh, so I'm very excited I get to call that. Uh, and I'll, it'll be the first time I've uh, introduced a reigning world champion. Unless Moose loses the TNA title sometime between now and March 29th. Um, yeah, so that's very exciting. Moose is there. Drillistico is there. Commander is there. Uh, plus a bunch of just local talent. Gonna be gonna be an awesome, awesome show. Uh, so yeah, uh, and then uh, my contact info is gonna be on the the, uh, the graphic at the end of the video. Again, huge shout out to Johnny over at Kayfabe Graphics for making that for me. Um, really appreciate that. I'm gonna probably start printing some of those out, taking them to shows with me. See if I can, you know, make some, uh, you know, make some money at the gimmick table <laughs> during the show. Uh, but yeah, I'm closing in on a year in the business. April 21st will be uh, one year since I made my debut, re-debut, but I'm counting it as my debut uh, as a ring announcer. And uh, man, a lot has changed in the last year and a lot more is going to change in 2024. I'll be talking about that in the weeks and months to come. Uh, but next week, let's go full screen so you don't need to see all those, uh, all those names up there. There you go. Um, <laughs> I'm still learning Streamlabs. Um, next week, uh, we are doing uh, WrestleMania by debuts, which I'm excited about. I'm guessing, again, I never look at these in advance, so I don't know exactly what that means. But I suspect it's going to be something along the lines of it's going to give me a list of wrestlers who made their first appearance at a Mania, and I have to guess what Mania that is. So, like, if it was 13... And, or say, it, it you know, uh, say it says The Rock. Rock's first Mania was 13. I did that backwards, but you know what I meant. Um, but yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be exciting. Um, I, I, I'm enjoying this, this Mania season so far. Uh, I'll be doing WrestleMania quizzes with one exception, uh, coming up, uh, in a couple weeks. Uh, and if you look at your calendar, you know what two weeks from today is and the quiz that I will probably be doing that day. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be doing Mania themed stuff pretty much through the end of April and then we'll, uh, get a little more, uh, grab baggy about it for a while. Uh, but again, thanks so much for watching. Uh, again, you can find me at all the places listed on the graphic that's going to pop up here in a second. Uh, you can contact me that way as well. If you are a promoter or you know one and need somebody to come in as an announcer, uh, either on commentary or as a ring announcer, an interviewer. Uh, I've done some documentary work. I, you know, basically anything in the industry that doesn't involve uh, taking bumps or getting hit with stuff. I'm your man. Uh, all right, uh, short and sweet this week. Less than ten minutes. I, uh, I know uh, there are some vocal critics on uh, in my YouTube comments that will enjoy that. Uh, I enjoyed it as well, and I hope you did too. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Thank you.